Hello, this is the Provoked Brawn, and if you've got yourself an AMD Ryzen processor with an AM5 design to it that's not only terrifying because you might damage the pins on your motherboard, but also because it has a heat spreader with several notches in it, then you may well have had a problem. Now, if you're like me and you're a bit generous with the thermal paste, maybe overly so, then you may be concerned about those notches causing problems with seepage. So where you put your thermal paste on and you maybe spread it around or perhaps you put a few dots on there or one large pea size amount, whatever your technique, you may be worried about overflow. You can see here, for example, my CPU where the thermal paste has gone over the edges and now is crusted onto the sides. So when I go to swap it around and put it in a different motherboard or indeed just rejuvenate that thermal paste at some point, the CPU is now looking a bit messy and awful. A bit like a child has tried to slap on some Play-Doh onto the CPU instead of thermal paste and it's not looking great, fairly embarrassing and so I need to go about cleaning it up and making it look a little bit nicer. Pretty terrifying. Now there is a interesting solution to this from Noctua. So Noctua has this thermal paste guard and cleaning set that you can purchase, which is a really simple product, perhaps one of the most simple solutions to this issue, but it will solve issues, especially if you're worried about that overspill or if you're planning on reusing your CPU in the future and you just wanna make sure it's pristine. So it basically is just a little plastic bit of material that goes round the outside and over those notches. Now contained within the box, you also have one of my favorite Noctua products, which is basically just wipes, alcohol wipes that allow you to wipe off a of thermal paste. As someone that regularly changes and replaces thermal paste on various different CPUs is really handy and you get loads of them in the packet. So here you can see me cleaning up my shame off of this Ryzen CPU with the wipe and a little plastic tool that I have from my iFixit kit and then replacing that into another motherboard. Now I'm going to be using this for a setup guide and a Noctua cooler, the Chromax Black that you're gonna see in this video. So I wanted to demo this. So the little plastic housing basically sits over the top of the CPU around the edges and then notches into it. Then you can put your thermal paste on the CPU as usual Note in this video, it looks like I'm putting it on plastic, but I'm not as going directly on the CPU as you usually would. But then you leave that plastic shielding in place, seat your cooler down over the top of the CPU, and then even if you've put too much on, it will spread to the edges and then end up on the plastic rather than going down the edges of the notch bits on the CPU. So here you can see I've installed the Chromax Black Cooler and then used it. And when you go about then removing it, in future, what you'll find is hopefully it's not too bad. Now, what I found was when I took it off, you'll see that the plastic is now stuck to the cooler instead, but you can see some overspill on that plastic housing and on the cooler as well. But more importantly, it hasn't really gone over the edges of the CPU itself. Now, I probably did use far too much thermal paste here, and that's fine because it's for demo purposes. I wanted to show what would have happened if you'd put this much on and not had that guard in place. I'd also say that I'd probably go about cleaning this up in the wrong way as well. You should probably just take the CPU out and try and clean them both separately. But the idea is that essentially this will sit there throughout the whole time you're using your computer and make sure that the thermal paste isn't spilling over the edges. Now, I think you probably don't need to panic too much if a little bit goes over the edges anyway, as long as it's not ending up on the CPU pins below. So I wouldn't overly worry, but if you are concerned about it, this is a pretty affordable solution to the problem and one that should keep things looking nice in the future. By the way, this Chromax Black Cooler is surprisingly good for the size, 120 mil fans on it, and it is able to cool a i9 pretty effectively and nice and quietly. So watch out for a video on that in the near future. Thanks for watching and check out the links in the description to find out more. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.